Hey guys, today we're going to have a look at some four chord songs. Now, you've probably come across some kind of four chord song video before, be it the axis of awesome, or, I don't know, play a hundred songs with four chords or whatever. Uh, and they're really fun, really like them, they're very entertaining, uh, but they can be kind of misleading, because I've not really seen any that take into account the key of the original song. So if you try to play along to it on your guitar, you might go, hang on, this doesn't actually work, or maybe it's just a small part of the song. So what I'm aiming to do here is show you the easiest way to play a four chord song, um, kind of what they are, and give you a few examples in this first video with a bar of each chord, and we're going to be in the key of G, and we might use a capo on a couple of these songs, but the majority of them are actually just going to use open position actually in the key of G. So at the moment we're going to be missing out a couple of the really famous kind of four chord songs, maybe like With or Without You or Don't Stop Believing, because they're not in the right key for this. So those four chords that I am uh, referring to are G major, and we can play this G absolutely anywhere. I've covered how to play a G uh, quite a lot in my beginners course, but just as a recap, we've got your first finger on the second fret. Um, of the fifth string, we've got your middle finger on the third fret of the thickest E string, and then your third finger right down low um, at the third fret on the, uh, the first string. Now you can also play this with your third and little finger on, so all four fingers, and I really recommend this way to change to a D. Did a whole bunch of songs just to get this change from G to D. Absolutely nailed, kind of in prep for this four chords lesson, I guess. Um, but it's the most common change on guitar, so really make sure we got this change done. After the G and D, which are for a bar of each, for all these songs, we're going to go to E minor, which is the one minor chord in a four chord song in this particular order. So E minor. And then we can keep your middle finger down to play a C. And of course you could, if you've come across it before, keep your third and little finger down for all four of these chords. And that sounds really cool as well, so you'd be playing an E minor 7, a C, add 9, and a D sus4. If that sounded French to you, it's all good, don't worry about it but they're just other options, and the reason that works is all these chords are in the same key, the key of G. And your first song example, which I'm going to show you today, is California King Bed by Rihanna. So uh, an example of how that goes is... In a California King Bed With 10,000 miles apart And this same pattern Chords, third chords, and fourth chords. Repeats for the chorus of that song, and that gets used time and time again in lots of other songs. So um, we're playing this, it's quite a slow tempo on this song, so I'm playing this using eight strumming all downs. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and D. Okay? Uh, if you wish, you can put an upstroke after the two and a, and three and a. The a would be an upstroke. One and two and a, three and four and a. One and two and a, three and four and a. And that really makes this sound much higher level strumming. It really sounds makes it sound very professional. Um, but to get it up to the speed of the record, feel free to just play along on the beats or uh, play just your eight strumming all downs. So whichever one you're more comfortable with, if you're still super new uh, at playing these chords, just strum along one chord at the start of every bar. So one, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, for example. But this will work uh, with the original song, so let's give it a go now. Play along to me and then you can play along to the Rihanna song. In, from a G, in two, three, four. One, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, E minor, two, three, four, C. In the California with, with 10,000 miles apart. Two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, one.
on the G there. In that particular song, it is just the chorus that um, uses those four chords, and it is often the case that this kind of four chord song trick that's an awful lot of songs actually ends up only being quite a small part of it. The verse to that um, song is E minor 7 to a C add 9, so slightly different way to, uh, to play these standard chords now. But we're only going to play two strings together out of those um, chords. We're going to play the fifth string with your thumb and the second string with your middle finger or, or your second finger. And that's how you get the sound of the original. If that's a little bit too tricky, you can always just strum the full chords. Sounds very pro on this if you can uh, give it a slight tap on beats two and four as well. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, and then finally, that happens three times finally. G chord to a G with your first finger moved up one string and take your middle finger off. G and down. So that's just a quick snippet of that song, but I'm going to kind of rattle through uh, quite a few songs here to show you how to play quite a few. The next one you can play without a capo is Pink and Effing Perfect. Um, it's just swear in the original song as well. It's kind of, uh, I'm not going to do it in this video because uh, I don't want to. Um, but for this one, pretty, pretty please, don't you ever, ever feel any less than Effing Perfect exactly the same as the Rihanna song and you know they're both top female vocalists and this kind of key of G tends to be really good with four chord songs for a female vocal range so that's something for you to kind of be aware of and, and try out um, so let's have a go it's exactly the same one again this one's for the whole song so right from the start two three four D two three E minor then a C. Okay, from your G in three, four. One, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. One, two, three, and C. Two, three, four. Pretty, pretty, please. Don't you ever, ever feel any less than effing perfect. And on the G. Absolutely perfect. Okay, that's the idea. Um, same kind of strumming pattern um, for Alicia Keys and No One. A massive hit, fabulous song, what an artist. If we stick your capo, if you have a capo, it will sound appropriate to the song if you play it with capo at fourth fret. No one, no one, no one. Okay, that's your whole chorus. And the verses as well, but there's a small bridge in this. And it's played in exactly the same way, so you can do this. You can you can play along to the record with this. If you don't have a capo, it will still work um, in the open position. But it would be no one, no one, no one. In the way of what I'm feeling. Still on two and three and four, still eight strumming. One and two and three and four, so that's perfect. Um, capo third fret, and you can play along to High by the Lighthouse Family. This one's kind of my era, kind of late 90s. Um, really fun, absolutely whole song. Cause we are gonna be forever, you and me. Always even if flying high in the sky Love. Same strumming pattern, still these power eights because they're all fairly slow tempos and we're playing a bar of each chord so this really, really works. Um, playing along to the song should be an absolute dollar as I say all the way through it's that, that same chord sequence let's just do that one more time so this is High by the Lighthouse Family Capo 3rd fret from your G chord in 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, E minor 2, 3 and C one more
more time Cause we are gonna be Forever and me One more Always Perfect. Next song, we got The Call by Regina Spector, which is also Capo's third fret. Uh, it started out as a feeling, which grew into a hope, which then grew into a quiet thought, which then grew into a world. Okay. Um, that's mainly just the start and the chorus part that, that it does the chord sequence does change but there's no other chords in the song other than those chords that we've played in the four chords bit of it so as i say if you want to check that one out uh, i will put a, a chord sequence link below and uh, it's capo third so you know this is a song that you can do if you don't have a capo we'd be looking at bar chords and or not being able to play along with the record so definitely recommend one of these things you can pick them up from as little as kind of one dollar or a pound or one euro and um, yeah they're really really cool really handy I really recommend that you play along to the song with these as much as possible it is the most fun you can have when practicing but you can also play along to me as well there's nothing wrong with that uh, okie dokie an old classic here uh, Capo Second for Country Roads um, slight tweak to the formula towards the end of the song on this one but four chords for uh, the vast majority. So, we're going to change the strumming pattern slightly and make it a little more country. Country roads, take me home to the place I belong. Okay, and just a slight tweak to the formula. We're going to go C, back to G at the end of that one. It's just that first sort of uh, half of the chord sequence is your standards G, D, E minor, C with capo at second fret and then G, D, C, end on G. As I say all of these will be available in a, a chord sequence below I'm just sort of showing you the possibilities and making sure that you're aware of these four chords um, this can end up getting to a stage with you if you're really familiar with this and you've played quite a few songs with them where you can even hear a song on the radio or you can hear a song from your record collection and um, record collection mp3 collection I guess these days um, and you can go hey that sounds like a four chord song I think I can play that and all you need to know is what's the first chord and, and then you away you know how to how to play the song so it's really cool to to recognize this by you um another really famous one take on me it is in the uh it's a really cool part of the axis of awesomes video so i had to do this one still capo second fret and we're uh, starting off in a g take on me I'm not going to try and sing it because um, it's very high, uh, but I do want you to play along with me on this one because it is a little bit faster, a little bit more challenging for you, and the same four chords, so we should be getting a little more used to the order now and more used to playing them. So we're going to be looking at doing a tempo of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, quite fast. Because it's faster, if you want to do this eight strumming, you want to make sure you're doing it with downs and ups. One and two and three and four hands. It's very quick, you might only want to do it on down strums, but I really recommend, if you can do high level strumming patterns, then why not, you know, it's, it's, it's going to sound better. As an example of that, first of all, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what we'd be looking at to be able to do it along to the record. Um, the verses aren't in this kind of four chord song order, but they're the same chords. So uh, very useful. Um, let's just have a go for the, for the chorus, okay. From your G chord. Kind of tempted to sing along, I kind of want to. In a one, two, three, four, two. Okay, I've bottled it. 
It's good fun though. Okay, uh, if you really dig this four chord song idea, I'm going to be doing quite a few videos which I'll put in the links below or put some annotations links here for you now, where this formula of a bar of each chord is uh, slightly tweaked, maybe two bars of each, maybe only two beats of each. It can mean that the songs are harder to play or a little quicker, but because the chords are in the same order, you will be able to do this. You will be able to play along to all these songs if you just give it a, a little bit of time. Give it a couple of days to get used to it, and I promise you will be able to do it. And I'm going to show you how to do them in the original keys of the song so that you can play along to the song as well. If you want to get hold of all these free video lessons in order, check out the website andyguitar.co.uk where I've got a whole beginner's course um, laid out for you to coach you be able to get to this stage and beyond um, with some fun free video lessons. So hope to see you there.